If you want to have control over your destiny, you need to have financial freedom. And in order to get financial freedom, you need to have a business. And everybody else is telling you that you should jump in and start a business, right? So why am I telling you not to start a business? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the mistakes that I made when I first got started. And I'm going to tell you how you can make adequate preparation so that you don't make the same mistakes. I see a lot of guys starting businesses that they are completely unprepared to run, including a lot of guys are trying to start coaching businesses when as far as I can tell they don't have any real experience to draw on. Funny story, I was in Colombia for a few months recently and while I was down there I bought a cheap guitar because I love to play guitar but I don't like the hassle of having to bring one along with all my other luggage you know, from home and then have to take it back and have to worry about getting damaged etc. So I'd much rather just buy a cheap one while I'm there. Anyway, when I left the country I put an ad on Facebook Marketplace to try to sell the guitar again and I only asked $50 but I had one guy who messaged me saying that he didn't have $50 to buy the guitar but he really wanted it so he would trade me his life coaching services in return for the guitar. I thought that was really funny because here this guy doesn't even have $50 and yet he wants to tell me how I should live my life. Now I know that's kind of an extreme example but the truth is that most guys who are jumping straight from their office job to starting a business are biting off way more than they can chew. Think about all the things that you have to learn just to start a simple one-man coaching business. And by the way, a coaching business is about the simplest possible business you could start. You don't need inventory, you don't need a warehouse, you don't need any fancy computer software. All you really need is a phone or Skype and some way of accepting payment. But the truth is that even the simplest business requires a lot of skills. Aside from doing the actual coaching, you also need to be able to find a targeted audience, get their interest, establish authority and trust, convince them to get on the phone with you, and then convince them to pay you for your coaching. Then you probably also want to be able to run retargeting ads and send emails to the people who showed interest in your service but didn't buy. So that's an awful lot to learn, and remember this is the best case scenario. If you have almost any other kind of business, it's going to be even more complicated. So how much time and effort do you need to learn all these skills to actually create a profitable business? Well, I can tell you from experience, it's a lot. So what should you do instead? Should you just keep your crappy, unfulfilling, time-sucking office job for the rest of your life and hope to retire at 65? Well, no, not at all. A much better way to go about this is to learn one skill at a time in such a way that you get paid while you learn. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but first let me tell you about how I got started. I first got started in digital marketing by doing affiliate marketing, which is where you're selling other people's products. And I had heard that the premise of it sounded great, right? That you don't have to have a product, you don't have to have a free course, you don't even have to have like some physical inventory of anything. You just find somebody else's digital product that they have on the internet and then you sell it to somebody else and then you get a nice big commission off of it. I got started by picking a few affiliate products on ClickBank and trying to sell them using online ads and social media. I quickly learned that it wasn't as easy as it sounded. It wasn't just pick a product and then run some ads to it and then the money just comes flowing in, right? Um, I'm not knocking affiliate marketing, right? Because that's still how I make a lot of my money and if you do affiliate marketing right, there's still a lot of money in it, but it's not quite as easy as maybe it was before where you just run an ad to a page and then you collect the money, but now it's gotten a little more complicated. So then I decided to sign up for the ClickFunnels One Funnel Away Challenge, which is a live coaching course that teaches you how to start an online business from scratch in just 30 days. So that's what I did. I created a course on how to make money from a computer and travel the world, which is what I had been doing for the last three years and all my friends were pretty jealous, so I figured that's something that I could teach that people would probably want to learn. I had already quit my job, so I was able to put full-time hours into it, and sure enough, I was able to build everything in just a month. The problem was, it was a ton of different skills to learn. I was working crazy hard, and I learned how to do everything, but I didn't really learn any one of the skills very well. And I'm not knocking the One Funnel Away course, by the way. Actually, I think it's the best value that you're ever going to find if you're interested in creating an online course. So if you're interested in that, I totally recommend it. I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check it out, but you need to be able to prioritize the information, which I'm going to go over in this video. So within the space of one month, I created a complete course plus a bunch of bonuses and upsells. I created sales pages, I learned how to use an email autoresponder, and I wrote a bunch of emails. I had to record video sales letters, I had to learn how to do digital advertising. And I started doing content creation, which was pretty horrible at first. 
If you want to laugh at my expense, go look at some of my early YouTube videos. Anyway, so it was like drinking from a fire hose. The information was excellent, but I just didn't have anywhere near enough time to learn these things as well as I should have. And that's what it's going to be like if you go directly from desk job to starting a business. You're going to be completely behind on a hundred different skills you have to learn as fast as possible while you're racing the clock and biting your nails hoping that you can be profitable before your savings runs out. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better. And if you want more awesome content to learn to be free, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Okay, so how do you avoid this situation? Well, if I had to do it over again, I would specialize in one skill at a time. I would still start learning at a high level because my eventual goal is to have my own complete online business, so something like the One Funnel Away Challenge would be great for that. But after that, I would focus on one skill rather than the entire business. For example, maybe I would get really good at writing copy for sales pages. I would read every book and watch every video and take every course about how to write high converting sales pages. I would spend maybe two weeks just doing that, just taking in content, making sure that I know everything that I could possibly know about the subject. Then I would reach out to a few online businesses that already had good offers, and I would offer to write or rewrite their sales page for them, either for free or in return for a percentage of the profits. I would do it for free the first few times so I could get a little experience, I could accumulate some success stories and testimonials, build my reputation a little bit, and then I would start charging for my services. That way, I'd be getting a ton of experience with one specific skill, and I'd be getting paid in the process. Then, once I had the first skill mastered, I would go back to the knowledge that I gained from my high-level understanding of online business from the One Funnel Away course or wherever it came from, and then I would choose a second skill and I would focus on that and I'd repeat the same process. So maybe next I would start building funnels or I'd start building chatbot sequences or I'd start doing Facebook advertising or something like that. And I would repeat the same process. I would learn everything I could about it. I'd start working for free a little bit. And then once I got a bit of experience, I'd start working for money and get a lot of experience. And then I would repeat the same process, right? I'd start learning everything I could about the subject. Then I'd work for free a few times. And then I'd work and get paid a nice chunk of cash while gaining the experience. By the way, all of these are high income skills that you can get paid a lot to do. These are good ways to start making a lot of money quickly. They're also a great way to protect yourself against the coming financial crash, as I explain in this video. So you learn each skill to the point of having it mastered, and your clients pay you as you gain experience. And once you have enough skills mastered, that's when you put it all together and you jump in and you create your own complete online business. Now don't get me wrong, it's still going to be difficult and take a lot of work. Even if you have all the skills mastered, putting them all together is kind of a skill in itself. But you've given yourself a much higher chance of success. And maybe you're already making so much money building funnels for other businesses or running ads or whatever other high income skill you learn that you don't even really want to switch to your own business. But having your own business is the way to passive income, which ultimately means financial freedom. So I put the link to the One Funnel Away Challenge in the video description, so if you're interested, check that out. And also check out this video, all about five high income skills that you can teach yourself in just two weeks. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.